What's up? Welcome to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of Matt Champion's debut album, Mika's Laundry. Matt Champion, rapper, singer, multi-hyphenate. You know him as a former member of Brockhampton, and this is Matt's first release post the ending of Brockhampton. Brockhampton talked about them on the show quite a lot, reviewed most of their albums. Check that out. Also been talking about the other Brockhampton solo releases that we've got lately, such as the Kevin album, Kevin Abstract album as well as the Merlin Wood, Amir Van collab release that we got. A new album from Matt. You know, I'm obviously very interested in hearing anything from the Brockhampton alums. Matt was never my most favorite member of Brockhampton, but he certainly was an important member of the group, like many of the members standing out within the group for his own unique presence and, and sound as a rapper primarily in the group. So I, of course, wanted to hear what he would be cooking up. This album is out on RCA Records, just like the old Brockhampton deal was. Seemingly all the solo guys have maintained their RCA deals. I'm very excited to say that Matt Champion's debut solo album, Mika's Laundry, is excellent. I was not expecting to be as wowed as I was by this album. 13 songs, 33 minutes. There is so much variety to this album. And I've never been as impressed with Matt as a member of Brockhampton the way I am now from this solo work, really blossoming. This is an album that is doing so much. There's so much genre variety, sonic variety, vocal variety on this album. Not all of it works, but so much of it does. So much of the choices, the switch-ups, the production flips. A lot of times, a lot of that is happening in the middle of the same song. There's just so much variety here and I think a lot of it really grabs you and that's why I was quite impressed you know whether it's something quite acoustic like aphid you know very raspy voice for Matt or the drum tempo picking up on steel or the trap of jib or the feature from Jenny Kim of Blackpink of all people on this album there's just a lot to this and man there was a lot of stuff I really wanted to revisit I thought dogfish was incredibly energetic for a pretty short song Yeah, I was kind of wowed by this. And to me, I think this is one of, if not my favorite solo project from any of the Brockhampton members. So, yeah, big deal. It's kind of going through the the tracks, you know, one by one here. I thought the first song, Green, was kind of blah. But after that, uh, Aphid featuring Dijon, man, that acoustic sound with the raspy, anguished voice from Matt definitely gave me Dominic Fight vibes in a good way. We, we of course, know that they're colleagues, they're friends. Steel, the Dora Jar vocals really fit the song well, really add a nice texture to that. I like that song a lot. Uh, Jib, the rap, you know, the switch up one minute in when the bass kind of drops and the tempo picks up. That's a banger for sure. You know, I think some of the songs are kind of undefined on this, like the the vocals are almost too minimal, but because the song, the the, the track times are pretty short, and the, and the every song is willing to change itself up pretty quickly, those undefined moments don't linger for long, and you're you get back to something better pretty quickly, which I think is a is a great great sign. Uh, Purify, I thought the melody at the end definitely had some Brockhampton DNA. I like that one a lot. Again, Dogfish guitar on that. Very energetic. I think the the lively moments of that song as it goes up and down, the li- the, the highs, the peaks really grab you. Uh, Code Red. I thought the vocals on this compared with like the bass drum, really fun rap on this one. Aren't you excited? Very up tempo, almost joyous, almost happy. I really like the energy being communicated on that one. Slow Motion. I believe this is the second second or third single featuring Jenny Kim from Blackpink. Quite the unexpected collab for sure. Uh, Jenny herself said that they actually made this song three years ago. They they were in studio together. Pretty cool. I think the song's fine. But more than anything, I find it curious, the timing of this. You know, for the Jenny and Blackpink fans, this was recorded when Jenny was, of course, on her original contract with YG Entertainment. Now we know, of course, she's signed back with YG as a member of Blackpink, but her solo work is no longer signed to them, and she released or created her own uh, OA uh, you know, music label. I wonder if that timing adds up there, where this song was not going to come out until Jenny's solo work was under her own control. Qu- interesting question. Of course, it's, you know, it's a collab with Matt. But yeah, uh, I believe they connected at Tochella. 
back in the day. I'm not even sure if it's the first or the second Coachella. I think it's the first one, uh, obviously, with the three-year wait. So, uh, cool. Nonetheless, hopefully we get more features from Jenny. Ooh, the slug, uh, the song Slug, I think the horn on that, I'm not even sure what kind of horn it was, but that one it sounded cool and really groovy, like really groovy song. The pitched vocals for Matt certainly altered, like, sounds awesome. Yeah, like, this this album goes in a way I really wasn't expecting. And I really have to recalibrate my thoughts about Matt Champion, you know, because when it came to the rappers in Brockhampton, well, I always thought more highly of Kevin and Amir when he was in the group and Dom, you know, and, and, and singers, you know, I wouldn't think of him as the strongest singer in the group either, obviously. So he was just playing his role and an energetic, you know, artist, of course, I think of his verse in Queer off Saturation 2, for example, probably one of the highlights of his Brockhampton career to me. You know, he, he was always cool and, and good. But this really showed something else and classic example of a artist from a group going solo and blossoming and showing more than they ever could as a member of that group. You love to see it. But yeah, let me know. What'd you think about Matt Champion's debut album, Mika's Laundry? Were you as wowed and impressed by it as me? And for more music reviews, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.